Well, Brindrod Bank has listed a new preference share exchange traded fund on the JSE's main board. The fund, known as Prefix, is the first of its kind to be listed on the Johannesburg Securities Exchange. And standing by at the JSE for more detail is Garrett Stobie. He's head of Grinrod's Capital Markets. Thanks so much, Garrett, for joining us this morning. Well, as I said, we're looking at this exchange traded fund uh, coming to uh, the market this morning. It's the first preference share exchange uh, traded fund to be listed at the JSE. What what exactly are we looking at here in terms of what investors are gaining access to? Well, preference shares really deliver three things to investors. Firstly, uh, a high uh, income. Uh, Prefix will be offering an inc a forward income of about 7.5%, which is paid as a dividend. Uh, secondly, capital preservation. Uh, preference shares offer a wonderful defensive hedge when markets are volatile. Um, if one looks at the last four years when, when market conditions have been tough, uh, preference shares have been a standout asset class. So certainly from a capital preservation point of view, uh, they play a role. And then lastly, they're very, they're very tax efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, notwithstanding the new tax on dividends, preference shares and dividend yields are tax efficient relative to other types of income. So let's take a look at timing of this and why exactly you're bringing this to market right now and the interest you're seeing uh, from the market within that preference share asset class, uh, Gareth. Well, I, th I think it's fair to say that we, we've entered in, into a, a, a period of long-term uh, low interest rates. So we, we've seen a demand from investors across the board who are looking for, for yield pickups. And certainly from, from those that have high, high tax rates, uh, efficient tax income. Um, uh, yeah, so, so really in this low yield environment to have any pickup is, is advantageous. Um, and also given that markets have recovered somewhat, there are still those that hold cash in their portfolios as a long term allocation. Uh, and then, you know, this can, this can play a role. Certainly that track record is adding a, a further incentive to an investment case for this. I mean, we've had listed preference shares delivering a positive total return of uh, close enough to 8.4% for the 2011 uh, period. What's the outlook Correct. moving forward in terms of uh, the kind of performance you're expecting out of this asset class? Okay, so, so as I say, the, the forward yield at the moment is about 7.5%. Yeah. We, we hope we, we try not to concentrate too much on, on capital movements in the in the in the portfolio. Uh, ideally, capital will stay uh, flat in actual fact, and uh, clients will get the benefits of the yield. If there is an uptick in capital values, then then that's a bonus, and that will add to the total return uh, over time. Mm -hmm. So seven and a half percent is what clients should. Uh, reasonably expect. Overall though in terms of growth of this asset class as a category I mean what are you foreseeing there because by the end of 2011 we had market capitalization of uh, South African exchange traded funds uh, and that industry growing from 33.3 billion at the end of 2010 to uh, 20 uh, to 35 billion and that represented yeah. a five percent increase over the period as you highlighted earlier. Yeah correct so, so that's the growth of the ETF market uh, we've also seen a growth in the preference share market as well. Uh, a number of new listings have come to market over the last uh, six, month, six months. So the, the preference share index, the J251 index, which is the index we're tracking, mm -hmm. has got a market cap of just under 30 billion. Uh, we're hoping that that index is going to grow over time. Uh, we at Grinrod Bank are uh, big ambassadors for the asset class as a whole. We believe that uh, preference shares serve a purpose for, for issuing companies and indeed for, for investors. So, so we're hoping that the asset class is going to grow. Uh, we think that products of this nature will help with liquidity in the asset class and will, will help with the growth of, of the index at large. And Garrett, just to wrap up, I mean, uh, what role do you see preference shares having to play as part of uh, you know, one's long-term cash allocation? in terms of investment strategy? Correct, okay, so, so in a classic balanced portfolio where, where a client has got some equity investments, some property investments, um, some offshore exposure, it, invariably they have a 10 to say 20% cash allocation. We would, we would recommend that preference shares form part of that cash allocation, especially if a client is, is tax sensitive and is paying tax at the higher marginal tax rate.